What's up, Tweeners? Welcome back to another Tweener Tennis video today here on the channel. And today we have a very exciting video with Flick Doctor Zach. Zach Thomas has been doing a lot of great content recently, and he was on my channel a very long time ago, but I'm glad to have him back for the upcoming 2022 season. Yes, I know it's still 2021. Now, some of these photos you may see are photo generated, so that might not be the final product, but some of them we can see are being released next year. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed. And we are offering memberships now, so you can get early access to videos, new badges, everything like that. Feel free to check it out down below. Now, I hope you enjoy this video. Now let's get into our video with Foot Doctor Zach. Thank you, Zach, for joining us today. I really appreciate it. I know it's late at night, but apparently this is the only time adults can do things now. So I'm very appreciative of you doing this. Late night sneaker chat. This is what I've always dreamt of here on the Tweenerhead channel. That's what I love to hear. And for you too, starting with your sneaker and foam account too. That's very new. So I want to plug that real quick before we start as well, because now you're getting into more than just tennis, right? You're getting into basketball yeah, shoes. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much getting into just sneakers in general. Uh, so yeah, I started the new Instagram account, Rubber and Foam, mm -hmm. um, just so I could start doing more, you know, more stuff that was in alignment with my YouTube channel. So I can mm -hmm. make it more, actually just to make things more easy for me that I can just... Yeah look post things all the accounts at one time so uh, it makes it easier for you and it makes it more entertaining for us and the fact that you wanted to cut a jordan one open i was gonna cry i was it's already cut actually i hate you already cut i hate you we're not here for me to cry we're here for us to talk about what's coming up in the 2022 season in terms of sneakers according to the hashtag tennis instagram account there are two being revamped into new ones. The sole match control from Adidas, as well as the Asics FF3s, and you're a big supporter of the FF2s, so let's start with the Asics. The Asics FF3s, there have been a little bit of a revamp, but not too much. What do you think, Zach? So uh, what I like about it is, is they've kind of toned down the polyurethane in the forefoot. So it's going to make them a little more breathable from the images I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. it, now, remember a lot of times these images are not the final product. Uh, sometimes they will switch it around a little bit. So, mm -hmm. you know, don't take this as gospel. Um, and they look like they padded the ankle collars a little bit more, mm -hmm. uh, which, which would give them a little bit better of a lockdown for a shoe that has a booty tongue liner, uh, which is nice. Um, the lace line looks a little bit more off center, which would give them a little bit more control with your foot mm -hmm. and the rubber, just the outsole tread looks maybe just a little bit deeper, a little bit mm -hmm. more punched out versus the wave pattern mm -hmm. than the old ones. So these actually might grip clay a little bit better in their all sport version. Okay. Um, there is a lot of bulk around the heel, which I don't think really does anything. I think that's window dressing, but like I said, that really? also might be like a concept car you see at the car show versus what it actually looks like when it comes to production might be a little different. Okay, interesting. And for the ankle support, I'm looking at this top view picture of it, and it looks like that's just – is that just a different color, or is that basically just three different layers? So the inside, the cushion, and then the – plastic on I would the bet, I would bet that's one color and I would just bet that's thicker bunting where you see the darker purple okay I would, got assume, it. That's, I would assume that's just thicker bunting and um, the around the ankle and the tongue's just one right it's fully mm -hmm. attached well yeah so it's fully attached but the cord ff2 and it looks like the ff3 mm -hmm. have a separate um polyurethane piece that comes over top of it got so it so it's like a hybrid booty liner which is why mm -hmm. I like the cord ff so much is because you get the slip on, like the really like hugging feeling of a beauty yeah. liner, like the Uber Sonics are, but then you also have the really enhanced lockdown of a three piece. So it looks like they kept that, which is great. I'm sure that was more Djokovic um, input because yeah. he stresses the inside of those tongues so much when he slides. Mm -hmm. So that's good. They kept that. And does it matter? I was actually curious because on a lot of shoes, you see probably one, two, three, right here, you see about six, like ties on the shoe doesn't matter the amount that it has or is yeah. that so what would be what's the ideal number for you to have control for your foot to be snug um typically like six on mm -hmm. one side so it'd be 12 total eyelids is probably the minimum 
okay. for a tennis or basketball shoe. The more eyelets you have, the more points of fixation in the shoe, the less likely you're going to sprain your midfoot. Okay. The harder part of it is, is, is the harder it is to get them tied tight because uh, the more points of fixation. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of basketball shoes now are experimenting with less eyelets and they're ridiculous. They're really unstable. Okay. So um, it doesn't matter so much as long as you're like around six to eight on one side. Um, and, and I don't really know of many tennis shoes that kind of go under that. Um, that would kind of be a, I, I just, I, so I just don't think you would see the engineers kind of do that just because you'd lose so much control. Gotcha. And moving on to the second shoe that looks to be early, that has been quote unquote leaked. And I have to say, and this is a disclaimer, these are photos of the shoes. These are not final products that you should take us doing an analyzation of. But for the sole match control, what are your thoughts on this initial one? Because we're only having a side view and a bottom view of the shoe right now. So just from looking at this, this is a CAD cam image. Yeah. So just looking at this image versus what the Ubersonics look like and what the Defiant Generations look like, mm -hmm. this looks like it's going to be, at least from these images, potentially a more canvasy type upper so something between the Ubersonic and the Defiant Generation and the Soul Match Bounce, which mm -hmm. is not the most plush upper. It's a little bit more of a, a stiffer upper. Mm -hmm. um, but th this could turn around and be like more of the um, Court Jam Bounce upper, which is like, it looks like it's stiff, but it ends up being really soft. Um, if they make this shoe kind of a mixture between Soul Match Bounce, Court Jam Bounce, and like barricade eight, nine ish territory. Mm -hmm. This might be a nice little tweener shoe. It also depends on what foam they put in the midsole. Remember gotcha. there is a new bounce foam. There's bounce pro. Now they might be experimenting with, Ooh. which would be awesome. That sounds uh, fun. But they might be putting light strike in here. You know, you might just get standard bounce foam. Yeah. Uh, but it would be really cool to see bounce pro uh, in one of these shoes, that more lighter bounce foam, uh, that's a little bit better than light strike, at least in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. the, the treads on these look, I mean, it's, it's a wave. So these are like the Cord FF2s, this great mm -hmm. pattern. Um, and also, uh, it's a very flat hand. It's a very flat wave. So it does. Depending on, depending on what the final image looks like, these might not be great for clay. These might be more of a hardcore shoe, even though it is a wave. Mm -hmm. Um, the blocks there in the middle of it where the shank is. I don't know what that is. That just I was might, about to ask because that just, just looks. I, I, I think that either that's just a concept or that's just because it really doesn't matter what treads there as long as there's something. Um, it just might be for window dressing. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, it looks like, I mean, I, it looks like a neat shoe. They got some durability guard on the toe box. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, it, it'd be hard. It's hard to tell if that's a one or a three piece tongue. Yeah. But. It's definitely an interesting looking shoe. I mean, I'm I, anything that says Soul Court to me, I like. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm looking. I mean, if if you believe the image seven one twenty two, it's going to come out in the summer. I I actually think that it looks good. I think the tongue detail on it. I'm looking at it from an aesthetically point, like the tongue with that little gray part from the bottom. Just that looks like it's sticking out too much, and they just glued pieces on it. I think yeah. it, it's a good it's a good concept in the back of the heel. I don't know what that kind of material is made for, but that's like you said. I think that's just total window dressing, just to make it look better. But I think it's unnecessary. And in terms of shoes, kind of getting away from these two shoes. And the last question I have for this video is: Which shoes do you think in 2022, or which brands do you think need to? up their game a little bit or need to kind of show us that they have something new in the bank? Uh, so, you know, I think the most obvious one is Nike. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I haven't seen it, but I think there needs to be an update to the vapor cage line. Okay. Uh, the fours have been out for a while. Mm -hmm. the fours are a more underwhelming shoe. Uh, I mean, some people like them, they're they're not the zoom cage threes they're not the lunar ballistics yeah they're the court ballistics i mean those shoes nike had a run there in the early 2000s or i'd say like 2010s yes 
where they were like literally every shoe was a banger. Like it was like uh, what it was like uh, Kendall's uh, party in succession. Like every single <laughs> shoe was an absolute banger. <laughs> and and they're they're kind of like hit or miss like the, the mm-hmm. vapor 9 and 9.5 and 10s were awesome mm-hmm. the gp turbos were great and the vapor next and the vapor cage 4 were just meh. um <laughs> that the vapor pros i think are good shoes but they're 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 just an updated vapor 10 they're, they're a vapor yeah. 10 with with like you know like a, a fly knitish type material and they're good yeah but i just i think that if they're gonna go into the the next iteration of the vapor cage they probably should go to somewhere like the zoom cage three line okay and in something a little less bulky a little less you know just all these accoutrements and bells and whistles on it and go back to more some of their simple setups like maybe even something with air max and the heel again really i mean basketball players love air max and the heel <laughs> there's no reason why tennis players wouldn't want it either um I think Zoom Air for tennis, yeah, really only makes a difference in the forefoot. If it's in the heel of the shoe, who cares? Um, I mean, it it does give you a little more bounce when you're on your heels, but tennis is played on the balls of your foot. So yeah, maybe some with Air Max in the back make the shoe a little lighter, give the shoe a little more longevity in the heel. That'd be yeah. cool. Um, I think New Balance needs to update the nine nine six. They have the Coco Golf colorway, which is a really cool colorway, and the shoe is super comfortable. And I'm a yeah. huge fan of nine nine six. I just think in terms of if they want to sell more New Balance shoes, mm-hmm. because the Lab V2s are pretty pretty in your face shoe. It's pretty cool mm-hmm. colorways in there. I think they can update the 996 and the 696 line to kind of more reflect the Labs. Um, and I think Diodora needs to, and I think you'll see it. I think you'll see a Diodora uh, because the Blue Shield Fives have been so popular. I think they will probably try to capitalize on that this year. And I think that'll get an update. And I think later in the year, like looking more toward Wimbledon, U.S. Open time. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping we see Gel Resolution 9. Really? That would be cool. Yeah. And wow. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a pretty quick turnaround on more Adidas shoes. Like you, you, you might see a new barricade come out yeah. like in a year from now. Um, well, so that, that's the, that, those are the ones I would at least I would like to see. I, I think the barricade, you said you didn't like it per se, or what it wasn't your favorite shoe. I tried it out for a very long time. It's a decent shoe, but it's not the classic feel that we all grew up using. It has a niche fit profile. Yes. It's, it's for the right player. They're probably the best shoes you'll ever put on your foot, but they are, it, it, it's not like something, um, like the 996 New Balance, like pretty much anybody can wear them. The va- mm-hmm. like the the Vapor 10. I mean, they, I mean, you know, they yeah, they're a little narrow, but besides that, you know, pretty yeah. much anybody can wear them. They're a pretty easy shoe to put on. And everybody um, wore them. Yeah, and everyone wore them, right? You know, uh, and so with the Barricade, it's you better have the right foot type for that shoe, and if you do, you're gonna. I mean, they're they're gonna be smooth as butter, and they play exceptionally well. Like yeah, even though do. my even though my foot didn't fit into them. <laughs> when you know when i was playing in them like you know they're the playability of them is as good as any other barricade if not better it's yeah. just a, it's it, it's it's a much it's a niche fit profile i think for us i think that's what we wanted to hear and i think we'll see next year at least what's going to be happening a lot more with the shoes so zach i really appreciate you taking your time out of your night especially being 1007 on a fucking thursday thank you again i really appreciate it and Go check out his new Instagram, Fresh and Foam, correct? Fresh Rubber and foam. and foam. Rubber and Foam. Rubber and Foam. Rubber and Foam down in the description below. His YouTube channel, everything. Go check it out. Go show this guy some love. And I really appreciate it, Zach. I Take guess care now. I really don't know See what ya. This is all See ya. About.